GPT's chat GPT apps are here. I'm going to show you how to build one from the ground up. It's a lot easier than you think. And I'm going to show you one secret setting that if you miss, you'll accidentally dox yourself. Let's do this. Hey there, it is I versus AI. When you head to chat.openai.com on the left hand side, you're going to see a sidebar with two places to get to your GPTs here at the bottom or the Explore. You'll see a number of GPTs here, including any that you have recently used and those made by OpenAI, but we are gonna be creating one of our own. Let's hit the plus sign. Meet Gizmo. This is the new model, which will help you build your GPT. Just ask it what you need. What I'm making is an Iron Sworn GPT RPG Oracle. Iron Sworn is a tabletop role-playing game for co-op or solo play, and it's amazing. And Gizmo, the GPT builder, will help you through the whole entire process, asking you for a name, generating a profile picture, and more details about your GPT until every field of the configure section is complete. At this point, you can upload files, add capabilities like web browsing, DALI, and code interpreter, which I am going to check because I want my GPT to roll dice. You can also add actions, which the short of it is you can use APIs to connect to other apps outside of ChatGPT, much like plugins do. Under additional settings, you can choose whether to have conversation data in your GPT sent to OpenAI to improve their models or not. In the preview area, you can test your GPT. A little tip. I learned the hard way not to try and test my GPT in the create tab. That's Gizmo's job. All it does in this tab is fill out the fields in your configure section. So to preview the bot, use the preview area. Once you're happy with your bot, save it by clicking for yourself, only people with the link or public. This means that it may appear in the GPT store and you can earn money from your GPTs. Though the iron sworn GPT that I'm making will be free. If you don't like how things are going with your new GPT and you wanna start over, click delete GPT. For my first GPT, I decided to go big or go home. This is the iron sworn RPG Oracle. And I use the configure tab with this, which is better to use if you want to have more control over your GPT. Filling in the name of my GPT, this field can be 50 characters. The description of my GPT can be 300 characters. And the instructions of my GPT can be 8,000 characters. And trust me, I used all 8,000 of those characters. Yes, it's ready. Let's give it a whirl by hitting the welcome button. Are you ready, traveler? Hell yeah. And what's really cool is you can get a little bit more information in the about tab here in the little drop down. It's so cool to see my name in lights by I versus AI, but you might be seeing something entirely different. Your real name. Here's how to change it. Head to my plan, click manage subscription, and under billing information, change your name and save. When you come to the settings area and click on builder profile, you may see that your name has not changed. Just turn it off and back on again, and it will update. Now let's play. I got a weak hit. What does she do? As Phelan, a skilled rogue with a knack for stealth, prepares to sneak past the bandit camp, all hell breaks loose because Iron Sworn. It's a stark reminder in the Iron Land. Even the shadows can betray you. If this got your heart pounding for more chat GPT roleplay goodness, I show you my complete setup, including talk to chat GPT, Obsidian, and Midjourney in this video on screen right now.